Is it on? Okay. Welcome to my cooking segment. Today I'm making caponata alla siciliano with a twist. But first, I have a message for my cousin in Messina, Giuseppe Caprolingua. I recorded it, hold on, with the help of my app because I'm still working on my Italian. All right, Giuseppe, this is for you. Caro Giuseppe Caporlingua, sono io tuo cugino dagli Stati Uniti. Questa ricetta della caponata è per te che ti amo. Okay, so we got that settled for Giuseppe. So now, caponata alla siciliano usually has the main ingredient being aubergine or eggplant, but I don't have any eggplant. So I am making it without the main ingredient. <laughs> You know, you have to improvise. Let's see, is this camera good? Okay, well, I want you to see what I'm mixing. Anyway, oh, let's get the mocktail of the day. It's just a simple, um, these are diamond shaped ice cubes with ginger beer because it looks like some sort of fancy uh, champagne prosecco something. Mmm. Have that ready. Have your mug of the day. Looks like a little potter's wheel. Like I went to potter's studio. Like I went to some sort of a little place in New England and I went walking in the in the fields and there, oh, there was a little woman and she said, would you like to buy this? I made it myself. That's not what actually happened. I went to TJ Maxx, as you know, all roads lead to TJ Maxx and it was there for $2.99. So but it gives you the feeling of that story without actually going to New England. So, anyway, uh, yeah, more coffee later. More about coffee later. But, I mean, that's like cup uh, 37 of the day. But anyway, I hear you can go up to 41 before you actually go into cardiac arrest, so I keep track of it, you gotta be sensible. So anyway, uh, you have all these rotten tomato, on the verge of rotten. It doesn't matter, look in there. It doesn't matter that they're on the verge that actually is an asset for you because they get you know they get better they get sweeter as they get older uh-huh yeah think about that just like Dorney Marie sweeter as she gets older hmm. anyway when you I put them in water this is my own Dorney Marie trick and they float they go for a little swim not only cleans them it brings the bad ones to the surface. Look at this. Look at this bad outlier. Right? I don't need that. Out. Now, I'm trying to rig Tony's going to freak when he finds out on the floor. He's always like, ah, so everything's on the floor. Everything's on the floor. All right, here's my cooking tip number one. Cook with wild abandon. As in love. I saw this somewhere on somebody's placard on their wall. As in love. In cooking. Cook with wild abandon and love with wild abandon, all right? All right, let's actually get to cook. So I like this old timey bowl. Looks like, a, I don't know, looks like something your grandmother's grandmothers would have it. So I'm gonna put it right there so you can see it up close, right? And I'm gonna take these tomatoes, just very quickly chop them up because it's gonna be boring for you. So you know what I'll do? I'll talk while I do this. Uh, they have certain tricks about how to do this fast, but I'm just gonna do it and get it done. So, uh, like I said, I'm cutting off my head. Get professional, get professional, Donnie. You gotta get uh, your production team. Now I'm doing a little, hey, here's another tip. A little half squat as I cut these so that my head doesn't get caught out of the camera. And then I'm getting my, um, I'm getting, I'm working my abs, I'm working, pulling in my abs as I chop the tomatoes. This is like a tomato, this is like, this is, bigify the hair, it's a little, it's a little flat today. Anyway, um, uh, this is like a Italian girl workout. Like I'm squatting, I'm cut, I'm pulling my abs in, I'm working my glutes, I'm working, it's like booty yoga. It's, uh, but with tomatoes and, and uh, garlic. So I'm chopping these all up, I'm looking for outliers. You get a bad, like a bad apple, but 
that's Sicilian form, the bad tomato. Oh, that's <laughs> on the verge. But you know what? I think it's, it's not rotten. It's going to be good. It gets sweeter. I'm taking handfuls and I'm just chopping with wild abandon, as I told you, you should be doing your whole life with wild abandon. Why are you messing around? I almost swore there, but I'm trying to keep it clean, even though this show is not for really for kids. It's up to you whether you want your kid to watch this. Uh, this action, this Dawn Macaroni action, and we never know when there'll be a Jenny Rigatoni sighting. Um, you can't quite see me chopping, but I mean, I have a real technique. I need a production team to help me. I mean, look, beautiful, and I'm just gonna throw them in that bowl. I only got a few left, and you, you're, you're gonna lose some along the way, but that's just life. You know, well, I'm totally off camera again. You're just gonna lose some. That's just life because. Uh, there's always somebody who's going to fall overboard when you go on any boat trip. Sad fact. Somebody's going to fall over. Whether it's intentional or not. Whether it's somebody else's idea or you, somebody has too many uh, Campari or whatever. <laughs> somebody's going overboard. So you might lose a tomato or two. So here we go. Chopped. Beautiful. It's like a... It's like a... Um, a renaissance painting. Now I have some sun-dried tomato. <laughs> I didn't open it ahead of time. Here's my trick. Just bang the heck out of it. And then if it doesn't open, and there's no jiggy, just no Johnny Rigatoni around. <laughs> I almost get, I'm getting jiggy with it. Uh, I did it. All you do is just smack it. it and, <laughs> in most situations, things aren't going your way. Just smack away and something will happen. All right, and this already has some, um, it's like an instant sauce because it's got the, the olive oil, it's got sun-dried tomatoes that's full of, um, you know, flavors, and throw that in, not too much, you don't wanna go crazy. It'll overtake the power, it'll overpower everything. Now I have these little domes of madness here, look. I put those in the refrigerator, <laughs> and they, uh, they like, they cover up if you have a little piece of a tomato. This stinking piece of a tomato, has been in here for two weeks. It smells all right, it doesn't smell rotten. And I keep saying to Johnny Rigatoni, are you gonna eat that last little bit of tomato? Are you gonna eat that? Are you gonna eat that? And he's like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat that. And I'll be like, oh, I can eat it. And he's like, no, you can, uh, you save it. It's sort of like a gift to the Magi. Like, do you get the tomato? Do I get the tomato? It's going in the salad, because nobody decided. So <laughs> that's the end of it. We got the other dome. I love these domes. They really lock in the flavor. And look at that. Like a little, ooh, a magic, ooh, what's in there? A purple onion. I believe they call them red onions, which I don't quite get. Or remember, tomato serrated edge is easier unless you have one of those chef's knives that are like, they could cut anything or anyone. But, uh, you know, here's just a straight edge for the onion. You can't see what I'm doing because I really just need multiple cameras and a whole production team. So if Food Network wants to contact me or the cooking channel or the comedy channel or the Italian, uh, lo some local Italian channel or anybody who has, can give me a team to work with. I'm working on my own here. Okay, look, onions, but yeah, that's probably too much. Rigatoni is gonna be like uh, the overtaking the, the red slash purple onions. It's nonsensical that they call them red onions when they are clearly purple. But I'm just gonna take a few. Wait, they're a little no, they're too thick. They're too thick. Wait, I take a couple of these. And really, hella, really get your anger out on them. Oof, they're everywhere. Get this anger out. There. Now I have a small amount. Wait, a little more. So I got the onions. I hardly use any of them because I don't want it to overtake. Now, whew, this is hard work. I'm telling you, cooking shows are hard work, but do you notice how much more prepared I am? I mean, now I'm going off camera just slightly, but I'm still turning stage right, stage left or something. And, ay ay ay. I, I meant to turn this off so I wouldn't get a text message. This is not professional. It's just bragging about my professionality getting better. Anyway. These are some Kalamata olives that have been sitting around forever. Who knows what's going on with them, but 
I'm sick of looking at them in the refrigerator. A lot of my, oh good, there's no pits. You can just chop them. A lot of my, uh, by the way, this is caponata, but with no eggplant. Um, if you have eggplant, roast it and put it in there because that's the proper way to do it. Anyway, uh, my philosophy of cooking is, first and foremost, just throw whatever you have at any time into the bowl and hope for the best. That really wraps it all up. That really is the synopsis. So, um, all right, so olives. I wanna do more olives because I'm sick of this jar. I hate when things are in the, I like to have my refrigerator be like a zone of, of tranquility in this chaos of life. So if I have, there's too much of this. I mean, you could use a little brine. Hey, do that. Put a little brine instead of um, vinegar. And then uh, you can still add vinegar, but look how much brine is in here that I'm not accessing. How many olives are really in here? All that brine and one single olive would have gone into the refrigerator. That would have driven me nuts. I know. <laughs> Maybe I got an issue there. <laughs> but I like to have my refrigerator be a zone of tranquility. The world is crazy, let's face it. Let's check in. In this bowl we have, recap, chopped up your old tomatoes that you let float. You let the bad ones come to the surface. You nix them. You take whatever old piece of tomato that's sitting around that's driving you nuts that nobody in the house is eating. You throw that in. You put in red onions. Chop them and get all your aggressions out. Chop the heck out of them. Then uh, olives, whatever olives are there, red, green, I mean, the black ones are really better for this. Uh, Kalamata are Greek, but that's okay. I like the Greeks. The Greeks are very close to Sicily. We're like simpatico. I love the Greeks out on the corner. They make great espresso down at Helicon. That's a local reference if you're in Highland Park, New Jersey. Or if you're somewhere else, you should come here and go there to get food. So anyway, uh, get, get an espresso. Oh, and I also threw in uh, sun-dried tomatoes, julienne cut with the olive oil in it, no weird ingredients. I like it healthy, fresh. Okay, now, here's where it gets controversial. I told you last time, I like real garlic and I like real onion, but I also like onion powder. I like multiple layers of onion and gar no, not garlic salt. We got enough salt with, onion, with all, the, um, all the olives, they're very salty. Remember that, you don't really need salt. Try the salt later at the end if you think you need it. You probably don't need it. You probably need less salt than you think. Then chopped dried onions, as well as the red fresh onions, throw in an amount. Pick an amount you like and do it. And then, I should really have my hair back because there could be some hair in this cell. <laughs> oh boy, I'll check it later before I serve it. It's only, it's only me and Johnny and Tony, so we'll see what happens. All right, so we got onion powder. Blah, 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 blah. Now, there is some uh, fresh uh, basil and herbs outside, and I did not prepare for that. I, I know there's pay, there's parsley dried. Uh, there is, I'm not giving you brands because uh, I'm not getting no dough, nothing yet. I still haven't gotten a sponsor, surprisingly. I still haven't gotten Food Networks or, um, oh, by the way, that was an Italian blend. Uh, freeze dried, freeze dried, not dried dried. So it's a little closer to fresh, like a hybrid in between fresh and dry. Oregano, always, always, always oregano. Always oregano, always basil. And now we're gonna crush things up. My, what fell out of there? With my weapon. Garlic. I'm going to go off the stage. Sticks at stage left. And you still saw me. I saunter over with my garlic. Best way to do it, smack it. Right? That's how you're going to loosen up the edge. The edges. The skins. Don't mess. And if it doesn't, if it gives you trouble, bust it. Just bust it. It's like busting a, if you got like a nut, you got to bust. It just, hold on. It's still not working. Hold on. If 
Well, it's failed. You have a very stubborn piece of garlic. Watch this one. And karate chop on top. Several times. Oh, that totally worked. I've released the garlic. The garlic is free to fly. And into my super high power. I'm not gonna tell you the brand because they didn't give me any dough, but if they want to they want me to represent them. I'm willing to be a spokesperson. Now there goes the air conditioner. I hope you guys can hear me. Anyway, I was gonna turn that off. I'm almost done. Watch this. Ugh. God, you gotta get more of a workout in. You don't have to do any, this, I should call this video, uh, Caponata minus eggplant while working out Italian girl style because I'm working out my arms with my garlic press. I'm banging my onions. I'm chopping things. I'm jabbing things with knives. I'm bending down to get to the camera. I'm pulling in my abs while I'm chopping. I'm, I'm working my, my glutes while I'm chopping and, and mixing and everything I'm doing. Oh, so if you could smell what it smells like in here, oh, you would kiss my feet. So uh, one last thing, I did forget. I should pretend I was dead. Uh, oh yes, uh, Oliver. Will you get me the spoon? Hold on. Oh, thank you. Got it. Thanks. Thanks, Ollie. That's gonna be my assistant. If anybody out there is named Oliver and likes to apply, wants to apply for a job where I don't pay you, but you can get me things in the kitchen, then like and subscribe and give me a message. By the way, why aren't people liking and subscribing more? I have 28 subscribers. Sad for all I do for you, you should be ashamed of yourself. Wait, let me show you. It's all you gotta do is go like this a little more of a workout for your arms. You can see I have like real field worker arms. You don't wanna mess with me in dark hours because I've been working a lot in the kitchen, stirring, stirring, banging. All right, this is basically done. And take any piece of bread. No carb left behind. If you really want to be low carb or gluten free, you could, I guess you could just suck on this by itself, but it's not gonna be that great. Or you could um, uh, get one of those like cauliflower breads. I know about her, mozzarella loves those, so I'm not gonna, I don't hold it against her. Oh, and uh, wait, 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 before the very end, you could put more salt, but I'm keeping it with the, just the salt from the, um, yeah, here, more workout. Pe fresh pepper, I always do eight, because it's lucky. So in sign of infinity, do eight turns. I might have lost count, but whatever. And uh, uh, that's it, that's basically it. And um, then you can, some people like it chopped up more, some people put it in a food processor, but I just like to mash it by hand, get your workout in, and uh, put it on your bread. These are, these are also from, that place around the corner, that Greek place. I'm mixing up the Greek and the Sicilian because we're two islands very close together. You know, we've got a lot of similarities. We're closer to the part, we're closer together than we are, than we think. I get along great with those Greeks. Anyway, so uh, this is like just olive oil and um, basically olive oil, wheat flour, salt. And that's it. It's so good. It's so olive oily. It's so full of oil which is good for you, we all know. That's my beauty treatment. That's my beauty trick for the day. You put, you eat all this food with olive oil, your hair gets smoother. You don't have to buy all these hair conditioners. You put a little olive oil on the end, just straight up, just take a little uh, between your whatever, rub it, put a little bit on your hair. But, um, isn't that nice? Classic. Uh, but eat a lot of olive oil. That's my other beauty trip. Trip, that's a beauty trip. And, uh, put this on top, smash it in. You could have this for a... <laughs> falling off. You could have this for a party. Put out a whole tray of these. I probably should chop those tomatoes up a little more, but... Get a potato masher or something. Get a little... Even more of a workout. I don't know if I have to demonstrate that. You could probably figure that out for yourselves, right? So... I'd like to finish this by, um... Taking a huge bite, but... I've got my, uh, I've got, I've got, I've got six weeks left on my Invisalign. 
Oh no, I gave out a brand name. I could have gotten good dough from them. They're expensive. I mean, my teeth were a mess. You should have seen how janky looking my teeth were last year. Phew, don't even read. What's a wreck? <laughs> but I do credit my, uh, my, my dentist. I will give a shout out to my dentist extraordinaire, Ricky Kreitman, 4th Avenue, South 4th Avenue, Highland Park, New Jersey. If you're anywhere near it, or even if you're somewhere else in the country or the world, Fly into Highland Park. Well, there's no. You have to go to Newark Airport and come get a, get an, an Uber or taxi. Come to Highland Park, New Jersey, South Fourth Street, because you won't find a better dentist on the place the, on the planet Earth. And that's Caponata. Next time I'll take a big bite of whatever I cook, because I know that's what everybody's wanting, uh, and I like to give the people what they want. So make some Caponata, Cecil Ceciliano. And uh, if you don't have eggplant, it's better with eggplant, but if you don't have eggplant, you can still make this. It's more like, really, what I've made actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is bruschetta. So, technically speaking, this is a uh, caponata alla siciliana minus eggplant that has then morphed itself into bruschetta, which is great. You can put cheese on if you want, but you know, I'm like all veganed up now. Cheers. Here, let me get it up close so you can see it while I cut off the camera. Look at that. Ooh. You know you want it. So do it. Make it yourself in your house. And you'll thank me, so leave it in the comments. And like me. <laughs> this is it. Olive oil's flying everywhere at the last minute. Like me and subscribe to me and leave me messages and tell me your mug of the day and tell me if you made this look at that close up it's like the it's like the caponata bruschetta who took over the world and made it a better place really <laughs> let's smash it all and with a caponata and start over again and donnie marie oh